Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now we have seen two degree polynomials. Let's see a three degree polynomial. Let's try to expand x plus y to the power three. This is three degree polynomial. This I can write as nothing but x plus y to x plus y whole square. Let's break this x plus y whole square. This becomes x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. So this becomes x into x squared plus y squared plus 2xy plus y into x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. This becomes x cubed plus xy squared plus 2x square y this becomes y x square this becomes y q plus 2x y square x y square x square square common and this is y x square and this is y x square common so I can write this as x q plus y q plus 3 x y square plus 3 x square y here x y is common so I can write this as 3xy into x plus y. So this is the way we break x plus y cube. x plus y cube is x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. Similarly, if you want to break x minus y cube, just replace y with minus y. So minus y cube is minus y cube, right? minus y whole cube is nothing but minus y cube plus plus becomes or it we just put like this x cube plus minus y cube plus 3 into x into minus y into x plus minus y right so what you get is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y okay so let's uh, try to expand this 3a plus 4b whole cube direct application of formula x cube plus y cube plus 3 into xy into x plus y right x cube plus y cube 3xy into x plus y so this will be equal to 3a plus 4b whole cube will be equal to nothing but 3a whole cube plus 4b whole cube plus 3 into 3a into 4b into a plus b that is 3a plus 4b solve this 3 into 3 into 3 is 27 a cube 4 into 4 into 4 is 64 b cube plus 3 into 3 is 9 9 into 4 is 36 a b into 3a plus 4b okay similarly you can try this this is a cube minus b cube a minus b whole cube sorry a minus b whole cube if you want i can do this for you this a minus b whole cube that is a cube minus b cube that is 3 cube minus 3ab into a minus b and now you can solve it so this becomes 5 cube is 125 p cube 3 cube is 27 5 into 3 is 15 minus 3 is 45 into 5p minus 3 cube. that's all let's evaluate this using suitable identities see 100 cube i can write as 100 plus 4 cube 104 cube i can write as 100 plus 4 cube why because see 100 cube it is very easy to find 4 cube also very easy to find so i can write this as a cube plus b cube that is 4 cube plus 3ab into a plus b we solve this this becomes this 
plus 4 cube is 64 and this is 4 into 3 is 12 100 into 104 so you solve this this becomes actually 1 1 2 4 8 6 4 similarly 9 9 9 cube I can write as 1000 minus 1 whole cube and you can actually use the same identity and solve you will get this answer I'll not solve this for you, you can try on your own. Okay. So we have to factorize this now. This is a power 3. Let's see if we can use some algebraic identity. So this is actually 2x whole cube. This is actually 3y whole cube. Right. And let's see what is the value of 2x plus 3y whole cube. Just out of curiosity, I'm trying that. So this becomes 2x whole cube plus 3y whole cube plus 3 into 2x into 3y into 2x plus 3y so this part is matching and this part becomes 3 into 2 is 6 into 3 is 18 18xy into 2x plus 3y so this becomes 36x square y 36x square y and 54xy square 54xy square so this is exactly nothing but 2x plus 3y whole cube Right? Just by knowing the formula, I can say that this is nothing but 2x plus 3y whole cube. So I can write this as nothing but 2x plus 3y into 2x plus 3y into 2x plus 3y. So thus I have factorized this pretty easily just by knowing the formula. Okay. So we'll do some uh, proof for algebraic identities. So we know that uh, there is an identity we have seen that is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz it's pretty important one this is equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx this is something we know let's prove this Let's start with RHS. RHS is this value. So let's multiply these RHS. So this become what? X into whole number. So x into x square is x cube plus x into y square is x y square. X into z square is x z square minus x into x y is x square y. X into y z is x y z x into zx x into zx zx square or x square z okay well, let me put x x square z because i'll follow the con convention of x y z so multiplication with x is done plus y y into x square is y x square sorry y into x square is x square y following the convention y into y square is y cube y into z square is y z square y into x y is minus y into minus x y is minus x y square y into minus y z is minus y square z y into minus z x is minus x y z done then z z into x square is x square z I am doing this now z into y square is y square z z into z square is z cube minus z into x y is minus x y z z into y z is minus y z square z into z x is minus x z square let's see what we can cut this cancel let me use different color to cancel so x y square x y square cancel x square y you can see somewhere we will have uh, x square y minus x square y will get cancelled with minus x square y okay x square z you will see you will have some x square z so this is minus x square z this is plus x square z so we will get cancel this y square z y square z will cancel this 
and then y z square minus y z square there has to be some plus y z square yes we have cancel this so we almost cancelled things we need so what we are left with is x cube plus we'll take y cube first and then z cube and then minus x y z minus x y z and then minus x y z three minus x y z three x y z so we see this is nothing but equal to LHS and thus we have proved this algebraic identities let's see if you can use this identity in some question thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching